I'd like to ask you about one of the existing and persisting divides here in America right now, which is just acknowledging what the problems are that need addressing. Um, and I want to ask you about the Republican rebuttal to President Biden's first joint address to Congress that came from Senator Tim Scott, because one line in particular caught a lot of people's attention. He said, uh, hear me clearly, America is not a racist country. And he argued that Democrats actually ignore racial progress for political gain. First, I'd love just to get your reaction on what you thought when you heard that line, but also to reflect on the idea that this is not a policy difference. This seems to be a very fundamentally different view of what problems exist in the U.S. So how do you bridge those divides? I, much like Senator Scott, I grew up in the South and it is very easy to grow up in the same place and have a very different view of what's happening. If I'm going to be charitable, I would say that his point is that not every American you meet is racist in their intent or their behavior, but racism is a system. It is not simply about individual actions. And that has been part of the challenge of combating racism. If it has to be overt, if it must be grotesque, then we al allow 95% of the incidents is to go unchallenged and to go unnoticed. I believe that we have systemic racism in the United States that requires response. I believe there are portions of our nation that are indeed grounded in racist systems. And I believe this nation has not gone far enough. Yes, we have made progress, but the deep hole we began in is not one we have climbed out of yet. But I also recognize that there is something aspirational in his language and his tone. And that is what we should attempt to reach but where we disagree is how close we are. But where we also disagree is who, whose responsibility it is. And I would argue that it is absolutely the responsibility of anyone who stands for public office to serve the realities of those they stand for and to ignore the very real examples of systemic racism, whether it's the deployment of vaccines and the deployment of medication, the refusal of Southern states to expand Medicaid, the inaction that we have seen on police and justice. And we are seeing Tim Scott step up to try to address that. But we have to have a uniformity of understanding that as long as racism exists in any system that is in America, then that stands as a marker of where America stands. And that is what we must address.